is obviously an occasion that uh, that we wouldn't want to miss, and it's something we've been looking forward to for some time now. Uh, you'll you'll all have to forgive me if the few remaining hairs on the top of my head are a little out of place because uh, I was treated to quite an air show over, over at 103 Squadron earlier this afternoon, and I must say it was quite a nice sight to see the Labrador and the Corman coming in there uh, together. Um, this this beautiful aircraft that we we see out here is, is really a very positive symbol for the uh, future of search and rescue in Canada, and the uh, the people that we serve in our in our search and rescue region really have come to expect a very high level of service out of us. And here at 103, I really believe we've been able to provide them with an excellent level of service as is typified by a very proud history. And I think we're only going to be able to do our job more efficiently and more effectively as this aircraft comes into in service for us. So I'd just like to uh, take a moment as well to express my sincere best wishes to Jeremy and the rest of your crew as you head on to the rest of your travels. And we hope you the best, uh, very best of success, Canada. And we're very proud of that association with you and the bombing composites. I'd like to ask Minister Kelly to come and say a few words. Uh, she's been a great in this whole area, actually. As I was driving up just now, I'm noticing there's getting to be a bit of a traffic jam around because everyone's trying to figure how to get to see the plane, and they're all going over around everywhere with their cameras. So it's very exciting to see, and it's a pleasure to be here today on behalf of Premier Tobin. He was unable to be here to welcome the arrival of the Cormoran helicopter to Canada on its inaugural visit. I should say it came from Aberdeen yesterday, and I'm on my way to Aberdeen now. But it's, uh, I know it must have been such an exciting visit across it just to, uh, to be able to come that route. I'd li also like to offer a warm welcome to all of our special guests from P. Cormoran, and especially Jeremy, you and your crew. This is certainly an excellent opportunity to showcase the aircraft that will become Canada's new search and rescue helicopter. And I know that the military in all of Canada, but in particular here, are really looking forward to having this new piece of equipment. As the newest aircraft to become a part of Canada's armed forces, the Cormorant will truly serve a vital purpose in search and rescue efforts. And I know that this aircraft will provide a capable and dependable machine and will be a very welcome addition to our Air Force. And what better place to hold this inaugural event than here in Gander? We have a strong aviation history that is recognized internationally, and our aviation history here in Gander continues to see new developments. And in fact, one of our newest companies in the province has a key connection to the new Cormorants being built for search and rescue. At the end of July, I think most all of you here today were there when we celebrated the official opening of Newfoundland Bonding and Composite. We are so proud of this brand new state-of-the-art 69,000 square foot facility for every- It's indeed a pleasure to be here this afternoon to welcome you and your team to Gander, uh, the crossroads of the world. And I believe there's no fitting place to start than in Gander. Newfoundland. Last night as I was watching the national news, they said that the Cormorant would arrive in Gander on Saturday to start its show to the country. And I said, well, it's the first time the news is behind because they got here on Friday. <laughs> so it was great that you were here before the news. People knew that you were here. And uh, we're very, very proud to have you and your team. And we look forward to, I guess, our continued working relationship. And I know with Newfoundland Body and Composite, as we look out here, we can see the results. Uh, it's just not a plant, but you can see that the results of that plant in the making of those components and that for those, for those helicopters. And certainly, it will enhance search and rescue, not only for Newfoundland, but for the country. And we look forward to, uh, to seeing this in full operations and certainly having the first ones come to Gander for 103. And we'd be very, we're very, very excited about it. And we wish you a great stay in Gander and a great journey when you head off to Sherwater, Nova Scotia. And please uh, feel free to come back at any time. And certainly we would give you the good old Gander welcome and the good Newfoundland hospitality that we're so famous for. Thank you very much.